Hey guys, here with Insulize again in Pittsburgh and what we're looking at today is an HVAC system that one of our customers has down in the basement. And what I'm going to show you is a fairly fast and easy way to improve your home's interior air quality, energy efficiency, and also comfort. So with every forced air system, we've got a supply side over here. This pushes the hot and cold air out to the house, but we also have a return side right here. And what the return ducts do is bring stale air back to the system to be refiltered and conditioned before it's sent back out to the supply ducts. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't pay much attention to. You kind of see it in your house every day, and most people just walk right past it. But there's some very important things that happen here. So the return side is kind of, imagine a giant vacuum cleaner. This is pulling the air back from the house, but with these sheet metal duct systems, they always leak like crazy at the seams. And let me show you. So this is just a little smoke puffer. This is a typical little opening we have at the top. And when I puff that smoke, you should be able to see it go right up and into the system. So let me show you the danger of that. First of all, we're pulling air not from the second floor or the first floor, which is where the homeowners live, but from the basement where they store their stuff. It's very dirty. But on top of that, you see here hot water um, here. And what this thing does is it fires and burns natural gas in order to heat the home's water. And when it does that, the flue gas that it creates goes right out here through this draft diverter. Now, when you've got a return system right next to your hot water heater, and this thing's on and it's sucking all kinds of air back to it, what it can potentially do is cause the hot water heater to backdraft. And in this case, it looks like it might be happening a little bit. You can see the rust is formed on the top of it. So um, we're going to look at a couple other places in the basement where this is also happening, as well as the garage. But what we're going to do to fix this is just use regular clear silicone and go all over the return and seal this stuff up so that when the system is operating again, it's going to be pulling air from the house and not from the basement and not from the hot water heater's exhaust pipe. So let's go over here for a minute. So the return duct goes to the basement here, and this is something that's commonly done. This is called a panda return. It's just a joist bay with sheet metal on the bottom of it. And what it does, here, get closer. The electricians, when they were wiring the house, decided to drill a bunch of holes through these things, and this is very common. But when the system op is operating, it's gonna want to pull air from the path of least resistance. So rather than pulling air from the super hot bedrooms on the second floor that are difficult to cool, it's gonna to wanna to pull them through these little holes down here. And I don't know if you can make it out, but the smoke is going right up and getting sucked into that hole. Now let's go over here. This homeowner has a normal basement and they're storing um, you know, mineral spirits and wood finish and all kinds of stuff down here. These are things that you don't want to have introduced into the air in your home that your family's breathing. We have another leak right here, and this is just a sheet metal duct system. You can hopefully see the air getting sucked right in. Now we'll go out to the garage real quick. And here, Justin, come over here. Um, we've got what many people have in their garage. Gasoline, uh, pesticides, chemicals that again you don't want to have introduced to your interior air source. And again, here's our cold air return on the underside of the garage ceiling. And here's our sheet metal seams. And what do we have again? A vacuum source. So while this system is operating, while the homeowner is trying to cool his home in the summer and heat the home in the winter, their system is hoovering up air from inside the garage. Not only is it unconditioned, drawing in warm, humid air from the outside and, and cool air in the winter time, but it's also sucking in all kinds of pollutants, even carbon monoxide from your car if you're parking in the garage. So sealing the returns throughout your basement just with simple sheet metal tape or um, silicone can do a big job for improving your interior air quality as well as improving the energy efficiency and comfort of your home because again you're going to be pulling air from the living quarters of your house as opposed to the garage and basement areas where you don't want to be pulling the air from. And we'll show you in just a minute or two 
how we seal these things. It's very simple and easy, just without a silicone or sheet metal tape. We demonstrated before that when this system is operating, it's sucking a ton of air in through the sheet metal leaks here, through the seams, and it's pulling in dirty air and potentially causing the hot water heater to backdraft and suck carbon monoxide into the, um, the, the homeowner's air supply. And again, the easiest way to seal this is just to take a tube of silicone and then hit all of these seams around it. And the reason that we like silicone is because it's super sticky, it's super durable, it, it creates a, as it's sealing it, it's going to be permanently flexible. So while the system is operating over time and kind of vibrating a little bit, it's not going to undo the, uh, the leaks. But you could also, in a pinch, use HVAC uh, metallic furnace tape like this, or duct mastic is, an, is another thing to use. But you just need to use something that's durable, that has a high level of elasticity to it, and just go through and seal every single one of these seams. Um, if you see a patch of sheet metal that was cut out like this, go around these things, um, and we're going to do we're going to do the same thing in the garage that we're doing here. And you just have to be methodical. It's going to take a couple hours for you to do it, but for 20, 30, 40 bucks worth of silicone, you can in some cases dramatically improve the home's comfort, interior air quality and the efficiency of your system. So it's something every homeowner wants to do. So you'll see that I'm sealing these returns here in the garage, and all that you're gonna do is go over the sheet metal seams like this. Once the silicone's in place, run your finger over it, and you wanna just find every one of these sheet metal seams that's in your garage or basement on your return, and or supply for that matter. Hit these things, get them sealed up, once you do this with some good silicone or duct mastic or even metal tape in a pinch, you will have dramatically improved the comfort, energy efficiency, and actual interior air quality of your home. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button for us. Have a great day. Thanks for your time. Here we are in another house, and we also did AeroSeal here recently, and we sealed up the re return truck manually and sealed the seams here. But this house has a different problem that I really wanted to show you guys. The the filter element that filters the air, the cabinet itself that holds the filter is not blocked around it. So when the machine's running, the air conditioner's running like it is right now, a ton of air is getting sucked directly in through this opening and it's short circuiting the returns that are up in the upper floors above the, uh, the home. So it's not working as efficiently as you want. And I'll demonstrate that with a little smoke puffer here. And this thing just makes smoke and you can see everything just getting vacked immediately in and again you don't want to pull air in from your basement because this is the dirtiest part of your home okay so if your filter cabinet on your HVAC system looks like that what you want to do is just take a roll of cheapo duct tape put it right over where the filter goes on and you can probably hear that as soon as I did that the system got quieter all right and now the return registers on the upper floors are going to be pulling that much more of the air in from the house above and filtering the dust out from the air in the house above as opposed to pulling nasty air in from the basement which you don't want the next thing you do is keep a sharpie nearby and you put the date on it so today is today 7 26 23. Now you know when the last time was you changed your filter. Leave both of these things right there and you've just improved the interior air quality of your home as well as the efficiency of your HVAC system because you're pulling much more air down from the upper uh, living spaces of your home as opposed to the basement. Thanks.